thanks for watching Ozark Overland Adventures. So as you know, we just got back from an awesome adventure in Colorado. And we've been doing that now for four years. Um, we started with Airbnbs because wasn't quite sure what that lifestyle looked like. And the second year we got a camper, still wasn't quite sure. And then years three and four, we've just been off-roading off the grid. Um, and what that looks like for ladies are a little bit different than guys. Um, so I just wanna show you some of the ways that we've progressed through the years. Um, not gonna be the prettiest thing. He saved this one for just the ladies and for me and it's gonna be kind of crappy. So guys, this video isn't for you. It's for your woman. Um, and maybe it's for you guys because you don't like to go poop in the woods, even though I hear bears do it all the time. Um, so anyways, yeah, so that has kind of evolved through the years. Let me show you the first thing that we did and I'll kind of introduce you what this video is about. I wasn't digging for flowers in Moab. Um, as a matter of fact, I had just eaten at this wonderful food truck called the Casey Mobia. I like things spicy. We were on the poison spider trail. It hit me hard, real quick. And so, my husband, bless him, pulls this thing out. I thought I was to get in and hit him over the head with it, to be quite honest with you, but no, he says go dig a hole and do what you gotta do. So, surrounded by cactus in the desert, eye to eye with a lizard. This became my friend. I ain't doing it. Nope. So anyways, I either threatened Airbnbs or he was going to go solo. He likes me to go with him. Um, so, and I like it too, honestly. Um, this wasn't working for us. So we upgraded. It was great. Pretty sure this is from Lowe's. It's a bucket. Nothing pretty. Straight up bucket. He knows my husband. You know, he put stickers on everything. Pretty sure how this got here because doing your business in a bucket, how more natural state can you be? So anyway, so this wasn't great either, but obviously it helped. Um, I had something to sit on, you know, wasn't trying to support myself with a D-ring because not above that. So anyway, so we started using this and I will say, let me preface all this, besides the shovel, I've never cleaned this. Um, that's kind of a trade-off for him, I would like to think of it as, because he's got me coming to these amazing trips, which I love. Don't get me wrong again. But I don't want to deal with this. Like, if I was going, I can stay in an Airbnb and just use it just fine and go drive in the Jeep during the day. But, you know, it's what it's about. It's the lifestyle that we have chose. Um, so anyways, yeah, we started with this. It was great, worked, but he didn't like the whole cleaning out process because, as you see, it's just a bucket and you have to get dirty. Um, so we moved in and put, we put a trash bag on the inside and that helped contain it so that way he didn't have to deal with it so much. Um, and our kids have actually loved this part um, just because we have three girls and you know, bless my husband because um, yeah, three girls, three poops, three peas, a lot of peas. Um, so yeah, he has to deal with this so that's on him. So. He couldn't really quite handle the number two in the bathroom. Um, so he was like, we gotta do something because this, this just, this smell is not working. That's when my husband brought in the cat litter. Meow, meow. Tidy cats. At least he went name brand. If you know my husband, that's a big deal. Um, it wasn't great at all. Um, I'm a dog person. I've never owned a cat, so I don't know exactly what cleaning out kitty litter is like. But the closest that I can think of is it's that really bad potpourri smell that was at your grandma's whenever you would go to the bathroom, you would spray it, and it based, like, basically smelled like flowered crap. Um, yeah, it's not good, and I didn't like it, but it helped him because the odor wasn't there. Um, you do what you gotta do. So, after this, um, my husband was just like, yeah, that works. The bag gets really heavy. Um, we haven't had any bag breakage. So, I mean, I guess that's propped to the trash bags we used. Um, but... It made it smell a lot better. Yeah, it made it smell a lot better. Um, 
I wasn't sitting like in there for hours, so I don't really care about how it smells. But for him, I guess that probably helps the cleanup process. Um, but anyways, we got done with this and we decided to make a pretty big purchase um, for a household. Um, it's not an RV. We didn't go back to Airbnbs. But yeah, so let me tell you what that is. This is what we upgraded to. It is a portable toilet that you can buy through Dometic. Um, they run around $200. There's two different sizes. There's a two and a half gallon and there's a five gallon. So we had some great friends who let us kind of try before we bought. Um, they have a two and a half gallon and we actually decided to get the five gallon, but bless them for letting us try a toilet before we bought it. They're real friends. Um, anyways, so great, great product. Um, as far as the toilet goes. Um, let me just kind of show you how it works and what we do. So obviously this is the toilet. This is the front part. The lid, as you saw earlier, comes up there. I don't know why really you could raise the seat for if you're a guy. I don't really think you need to. I, I don't know. Um, anyways, so I'm not a guy. So I'm going to just pop this seat off and kind of show you because it's easier to demonstrate without this popping back and forth. It just pops off like that. It's kind of like on these little clips. But it's a two-part system, and so to hold it, you can grab this handle up front and grab the handle in the back to carry it around. Try to keep it level, obviously, for reasons. If this is open, you can have poop in your face. Um, so anyways, to open this up, basically you go to the back. You'll hear it kind of pop. And it kind of unhooks off of these little clips up front here. And so it's two parts. This part is where your waste goes into. And so what you'll do is you will put a little bit of water in here and you can open this up just like that. You put a little bit of water in here, probably a half gallon would be fine. And then you can buy this at like your local camping stores. It's Insta Fresh Tank Deodorizing Formula Holding Tank treatment and it breaks down the waste. Um, you can put toilet paper in here too, but we choose not to um, just kind of for space purposes. And I think that's just more stuff to clog it up and we just don't want to deal with all that. It's just a lot easier. Um, but anyways, you drop some of that in there, you shut it back up. And then on this top piece, let me move that seat around. So you'll fill this tank up. This tank right here is what holds your water. Um, like I said, ours is a five gallon. They come in the two and a half. We choose five just because we tend to go to longer trips and it just lasts. We only had to change this one time while we were in Colorado. And that's with multiple people using it, um, not just our family. Um, but we had friends that use it as well because, you know, if you bring to the good things for your friends, they use them. And so anyways, you fill this up and you just put the lid back on it. And boom, that's really all it takes. You're set. Um, now to put this back on top, like I said, you see these little clips? There's like these little hinges underneath here that catch. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. So anyway, so yeah, you're all set. That's good to go. And your instructions, like whenever you're needing to use this, it's all on the back of the toilet seat that would be right there. Um, I'm just popping it off now just for purposes so you can see. Um, so anyways, whenever you need to use the bathroom, everybody will know um, because the sounds it makes, it's great. So what you'll do is you'll want to open this up, it's the same part that you opened to put originally the water and this little solution in. And as you can see, it opens the chute there for you to go to the bathroom. Side note, crappiest video I've ever done. Just saying. Um, so anyway, so once you're done with that, you'll want to pump this. The back of the seat says about 15 times. 10-ish, I mean, this is why everybody knows you're in the bathroom. Three hours later. Okay, you're good. So what that's doing is basically pressurizing the water to get ready because the coolest mechanism for when you're out in the middle of nowhere, literally, or on the side of the road in Kansas and Oklahoma where you can see nothing for miles and miles. 
this little button right here. Oh yeah. It's got a flusher. Yeah. Pretty high tech. Yeah, I know. I was impressed too. Um, so yeah, so we love it. This has been great for our family. Um, I can't say anything more about the toilet because, well, it's a toilet and you can't say a whole lot about a toilet, but it gets the job done. So anyways, like I was saying, I don't ever really deal with the aftermath of this. Um, again, it's a trade-off that he gets to take me to these trips and I go willingly because I have a toilet. Um, and ladies, you know, it's, it's just a lot more convenient. Um, and guys too, I mean, anyway, so let me introduce my lovely assistant that deals with all the junk because I don't. Yeah, she's never cleaned this out before and probably never will, but that's okay. Um, really, I got this for her, but for me because it makes cleaning up the mess a whole lot easier. Um, just pop that off. This is where all the nasty stuff is. It has a little arm that swings out. Unscrew that. If you're home, at the end of your trip, carry this into your bathroom and you just pour this into the toilet. And might I say he means carry this into the bathroom immediately? Yeah, don't. I accidentally waited five days after a trip not too long ago and that was disgusting. It was um, quite funny actually. Yeah, it was disgusting. Um, or if you're on a trip like ours, um, I think I just carried this into a convenience store bathroom or something. I think um, we asked if we could use it. Yeah, so I just carried this into the, the bathroom at a maybe a hotel or convenience store, I can't remember which. Um, and dumped it when you're done. Screw this back on, seal it up. And then you'll want to top it off with a little more water, a little more of this stuff, and you're good to go. Yeah, I don't ever do that part, so that was kind of interesting to see. But anyways, yeah, this has been great for our family. You know, with all the kids and everything and just being out for those long trips. Um, and it's great for my husband so he doesn't have to deal with all of our crap. Well, most of it. Um, but anyways, we'd love for you to subscribe and like this video. Let us know how crappy it is. Um, yeah, maybe next time he'll let me upgrade to some other part. Non-poop related. Um, but anyways, check us out. Holler at us. Let us know what you think. If you got one of these and you love it. If you don't, let us know those things too. Um, we paid for this ourselves, so we were just giving an honest review of your pooch. Talk to you later.